in, 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 in. in. So glum. I'm broke. <laughs> Better luck next time. for Italy and lost. Didn't you? How do you know? I know. And I also know you lost $400. Who's this? Why are you calling me? I call because I want to help you. Help me? What do you mean? I need someone to collect the bets for the World Cup. So? Like I said, I need someone to collect bets. Really? What are you offering me? I offer you an agent's account. Plus 30% commission whenever your betters lose. You are broke and you need money, right? Okay. What do you want me to do? I'll message you an ID and password. Faster lah. Hurry up lah. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ayang, Kang and Peter want to play too. Let's go have lunch. Hey guys, come on. Hey, thanks. I bet Netherlands will beat Uruguay. Score one zero. I say Uruguay will beat Netherlands. Four two. Spain uh, will definitely beat Germany 2 0. Hey, why are you not writing down our bets? Our oh, SMS a link to each of you. Why so high tech? We go high tech. It's like keying in your 4D. Which means we need to key in our password and IDs? Yes. I'll send your password to each of you. Peter? Xiang? <sighs> hey. Ayam. These two. Let's talk outside. We heard you are taking soccer bets. You keen to play? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Give me your handphone numbers, and I'll send you a password and IDs. Yang, what are you doing? Oh, I have work from office to finish. There. I see you've been bringing work home from office. The boss has to give me more work. Hey, isn't tonight the grand final? Yes. See, I know. Can I finish my work now? Sure. Don't stay up too late. Mm -hmm. Yes? Count. Let's kick off soon. Are you betting? Yes. Then why didn't see your bet? See my bet? Have you locked in? Oh, I forgot. Go lock in now. Okay. Yes, yes, yes! 
Goal! Yes, 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 yes! I never expect Spain to win. Hey, hello. Spain uh, has been very consistent. Surely they are hot favourites to win. It is right. It was a close game. Netherlands were good. But not good enough. At least they could have forced a penalty shootout. Well, which they may lose anyway. Hey. Send pay up. Come on. You two bet for the Netherlands. 300 for each of you. Peter? I betted for Spain. Thank you. Come. You didn't bet. Well, I wasn't sure, so... What do you mean you wasn't sure? I wasn't sure who would win, so I didn't bet. Next time, just bet. You might be lucky. Yes, you might, you be, might lucky. be lucky. Hello? I am Andy. Have you collected the money? Yes. How much? One thousand. Wait, wait, wait. One thousand two hundred dollars. Ayang, be exact. Is it a thousand? Or a thousand two hundred? One thousand two hundred dollars. Are you sure? Yes. Listen, I can check your agent's account. If you try to cheat me, I will know. You hear me? Yes. Okay. I'll be sending someone to collect the money. Ayang. The money. What's your name? Why do you want to know my name? I need to know who I'm giving this to. You can call Andy. You tell her who I am. No need. Is everything okay? Hey, Boon. Hey. Thanks. So, how Peter? We not lose. Not much lah. I only batted 2 0. Kang, what about you? The Italians were disappointing. That means you lost? I should have batted for a draw. Okay, now, Greece and Russia. Anyone want to bet? My money says Russia. Your team? I bet Greece to win. But the Greeks have never won a single match. They were 2004 champions. They will win. Come on. They were just lucky against Portugal. That's all. In football, Luck is everything. I don't agree. I'm sorry. That's your problem. Fine. You bet yours, I bet mine. Well, let's see who has the last laugh. Come on! Go! Lucky strike. The Russians will come back and win. No, they won't. Russia will run out of luck and lose. Lose, ah, lose. Who lose? Hey, stop it. Stop it, both of you. Come. What's the problem with you? I bet Russia. Don't you curse them. Hey, no one is cursing, okay? Yeah, and you and your stupid grease. Now, look, you are the one who is cursing. Hey, stop it. Chill, 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 both of you, okay? It's just only a game. Yeah, it's also money. Okay, I know. Okay, and we all know. All right, but you don't want the whole world to know, right? Sorry, ah. Don't get it. Payment time, payment time. Kang. Can I pay you later? I don't have enough cash with me right now. You know Monday is when we settle our bets? Yeah, I... but my wife needed money for marketing this morning. Why are you telling me all this? You lose a bet, you pay. I, I will pay, but I needed time to find 500 to pass you. When? T tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. No later. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I bet for this. Yes, I know. But I have not enough to pay you right now. What? $400 you also don't have? Hey, I say I have not enough until Kang pays me tomorrow. Hey, when I lose, I pay you. Now you lose, you pay me. I tell you what. I give you 200 right now and 200 tomorrow when Kang pays me. Okay? Okay. Hello, police. I'm calling to report an illegal soccer betting. Ma'am, 
We just received a tip off about illegal betting in a factory at Pioneer Crescent. Who's the complainant? It's one Mr. Wood. He reported that Ayang has been collecting bets. He even gave us Ayang's handphone number. Okay, screen this number and find out who the subscriber is. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma'am, the subscriber is one Shi Zhi Yang. As he's our suspect, we screened him and obtained his particulars. This is his photo. Good. Share this photo with Sam. He's standing by with a team to follow the suspect. Roger. This is Shi Ziyang, alias Ah Yang. He's working as a store supervisor in a factory at Pioneer Crescent. We suspect he's involved in an illegal soccer betting as a bookmaker. In this photo, the suspect was with three others, whom we believe to be his colleagues who were exchanging cash. Jerome and I followed them to an industrial block where they remain. I suspect that they are working there. I followed the suspect to his flat in Woodlands Drive. On the same evening, he met two men at the void deck. Together, they went to a pub to watch soccer. At the pub, the suspect was seen receiving cash after a goal was caught. These photos show that the suspect could be involved in illegal soccer betting. As he might not be operating alone, we shall mount a raid at his workplace. Any questions? No, no ma'am. Illegal soccer betting? Officer, I run a factory, not some gambling den. Sir, would you be able to identify this man? Chandra, do you recognize him? Yes. They are from the store. What are their names? This is Heng Kang. This is Boon Xian. This is Jiang. Shi Ziyang? Yes? I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kit Cheng from CID. What is this? We are investigating into a complaint of illegal soccer bettings. We need to examine your handphone. Shi Ziyang, you are now under arrest for involvement in illegal bettings. <laughs> Who else is involved? Why are you silent? Are you hiding something? Go ahead, tell the officer the truth. Bun Xiang, Peter, Heng Kang, Run Chong, and Ying Chong. This is our warehouse. They are working here. Boon Seng, Peter, Heng Kang. These are CID officers. They would like to have a word with you. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kit Cheng from CID. We are investigating a complaint of illegal soccer bettings. What? Illegal soccer betting? But we never bet. We need your NRICs and handphones. We are placing you under arrest for suspicions of illegal soccer betting. Enchok! Runchun! These are CID officers. They need to talk to you. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kit Cheng from CID. We are investigating a complaint of illegal soccer betting. We need your NRICs and handphones. Stop! Hey, stop! Lo Chao, you are now under arrest for involvement in illegal soccer betting. Let's go. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kit Cheng from CID. How is this person related to you? He's my husband. What's going on? Can we come in? Sure. Ma'am, your husband is under arrest on suspicion of illegal bettings. Illegal betting? Are you aware that he has been betting and collecting bets on soccer matches? 
I know he won't like to watch soccer, but betting? I, I don't know. We need to search our place. Sure. Is this yours? Yes. Are these yours? Yes. I refer to your online soccer betting account. What is the credit limit for that account? I have an agent account. It has a credit limit of $50,000. That way, I can issue bettors account to people who wish to bet. Who gave you your agent's account? Andy gave me. Who's Andy? It's a bookie. I came to know him two years ago when I was betting during the last World Cup. What did he offer you? He offered me a 30% commission to bettors who lose. Do you have Andy's contact? No, I don't. Then how do you contact Andy? Every Monday, he called me using a private line to settle winning and losing bets. How would you settle accounts with Andy? If the amount is more than $1,000, he will send someone to collect it. If less, I get to use the money to be used the following week. How much will you collect for soccer bets on a monthly basis? I collect not more than $2,000. I'm just a small time collector. Now, I know I'm wrong. Please give me a chance. Please. Shi Ziyang was charged and found guilty on 14 counts of acting as a bookmaker and one count of assisting in carrying on of a public lottery. He was sentenced to four months imprisonment and fined $100,000. Five colleagues of Shi Ziyang were charged and found guilty for illegal betting. Go Bun Xiang was fined $3,600. Peter Liu Gongan was fined $2,000. Lai Heng Kan was fined $1,000. Lo Ying Chiok was fined $4,800. And Ng Run Chong was fined $1,000. The police are gathering leads to locate Andy, the soccer bookie. Do not bet with illegal online bookmakers. You may think it's more convenient and the odds are better, but that will not be the case when you are arrested, charged in court and given a hefty fine. Betting with an illegal bookmaker is an offence under the Betting Act. Offenders are liable to a fine of up to $5,000 or in some cases, imprisonment for up to six months or both. Any person who is involved in bookmaking is liable to a fine of at least $20,000 and up to $200,000 and also imprisonment for up to five years. You may think that illegal online betting is harmless and hurts no one. You would be mistaken. By betting online with illegal bookmakers, you are financing and enriching transnational criminal syndicates who may be involved in other criminal activities. This is the reason the Singapore Police Force takes a serious view on all forms of illegal betting and will prosecute bookmakers and bettors alike to the fullest extent under the law. What you are about to see is a raid on a gambling house carried out by officers from the Bedok Police Division headquarters. Their mission? To take enforcement action against illegal gambling.
after the break, crime prevention tips for the Great Singapore Sale. It's that time of the year again, the Great Singapore Sale. While you enjoy great discounts and bargains, always remember to safeguard your valuables. When you're in public places, avoid exposing cash, valuables and jewellery, as these are likely to attract unnecessary attention. Don't be distracted whenever a stranger bumps into you. Should that happen, quickly check your belongings. Should you find your valuables taken, inform the store security immediately and follow up with a police report. Especially for the ladies, handbags can be targets for thieves. So when you're shopping or simply strolling, here's what you should do. Close or zip your handbags to secure your belongings, cross sling and hold it firmly by the side. Never leave your belongings unattended. Thieves may strike when your guard is down. When you're at a cafe or food court, arrange for a friend to look after your belongings while you order food. For the retailers, these are some measures you can take to protect your business. When a customer asks too many irrelevant questions, be careful. A thief may be distracting you while an accomplice strikes. Invest in a good CCTV system with cameras installed at all entry and exit points of your store. With expensive merchandise, display them in secured showcases. Where possible, install convex mirrors to cover blind corners. Thank, Thank you. you. Remember, criminals can strike anytime, anywhere. Always stay vigilant to avoid becoming a victim of crime. And on that note, I wish all of you happy feasting and shopping. Bye! We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. This is DSP Teo Ming signing off. <laughs>